Hi from Dubai. My name is Todd Sturmer and this is my 1965 Chevy Corvair. It's a very happy day from Dubai. It's a beautiful spring Southern California Sunday. And if it wasn't for this horrible health crisis we're all in, Alex would be right now with his cars and coffee buddies hanging out. But because we're self-isolating, he's home playing with his cars. Let's see if we can find him so he can say, hey, Alex, where are you? I don't see him. Maybe he's in here. Mm. Nope. I don't see him in here. All the motorcycles are under wraps from the rain we've been having. Hey Alex, are you around? I'm here somewhere. Aha! Uh -huh. Always the last place I look. Well, there's plenty of places to hide around here. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. There you are. You caught me. <laughs> well, greetings to all of you who really, really miss the wonderful Sunday mornings all over the United States in every corner for coffee and playing the cards and telling stories. So for all of you who don't have an opportunity to have cards and coffee, I suggest you do the same thing that I'm doing, which is I'm having coffee with my cars. As a result, I qualify and I have cars and coffee. So be safe, don't get into any trouble, but continue the spirit of the sport. Here's to everyone. Hi, I'm Steve Ellis from Behind the Wheel, and this is my 2008 Nissan 350Z Nismo Edition. This is chassis number 1251 of the 1615 made. Uh, Autech actually seemed well to the body to give it a much stiffer chassis. Uh, so far on the car, it's got coilovers and a few suspension bits. Uh, the biggest notice is the Ray's LMGT1s from the Nissan 400R R33 GTR. Uh, my plans for it to dive into the suspension some more and take it out to the canyons like right here at Angeles Crest. Hi guys, this is the first of our cars, a 57 Ford wagon. We've had it for about 15 years, 20 years. Got it to haul the kids around in. This is uh, my first car, a 1940 Willys pickup that I've had since I was 15. Still in the process of being finished. It's a very, very long project. And over here we have my wife's first car, a 56 T-Bird that is in need of some help as well. All right, thanks.
This is my 2019 Ford GT Carbon Series, painted liquid blue with the red accent stripe. It's got almost 3,000 miles on it, and uh, let's hear it start. and six Mini Cooper. It is the first of the BMW Minis and it is the classic British racing green. It's a Park Lane edition which is one of the special editions they put out which gives it a special interior. Full leather seats which are lovely and they're heated as well as well as the kick plates and the silver mirror trims as opposed to the body colour mir mirrors. Hi there cars and coffee. I'm Rocky. This is my 2017 Audi A4 and his name is the little blue guy. It is a prestige package. I added the front grille on and this car was actually custom ordered. Even though its only modifications are cosmetic, I still love it dearly and it is very much my daily driver and fairly low miles too. Head. The modified shooting grill shell. Five speed gearbox. gas tank, brakes and shocks, original license plate, and yes, that is the fuel gauge. Here you have a 300cc single cylinder four stroke engine. The steering column articulates with the door. Shift pattern is left handed and inverted. Now get ready for the unbridled fury of 13 horsepower. <laughs>
I drive a 1959 Speedster. It's a replica built here in California by Vintage Speedster. And, um, and the truth is, probably, if, if I had a real one, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't go out so boldly driving it as I do now. So it's, it's really a lot of fun to bring on these rallies and to, to take out in the streets, even getting gas. You know, people stop me wherever I go. It's a happy little car and makes people feel good. And it makes me feel good to know that people like it. George from uh, from Emerald Beach in the north coast of New South Wales, and uh, this is our 1961 uh, B T6 3.64. Uh, we've had the car for about five or six years. It was um, imported from Portland, Oregon, and um, it's left-hand drive. We're leaving a left-hand drive, and uh, we just love the car to death. So I'm in the throes of a road trip at the moment, um, doing about 3,000 miles over the next. Natasha, this is my 1990 LS400. Um, I've lifted it to take it off road. And it's been a lot of fun ever since. I've taken it to shows, Hot Wheels, Radwood, King of the Hammers. Um, if you want to see more of it, check out my Instagram, Natasha Adams with two Ds. I hope you like it. Sixty-three Corvette convertible. I did a full body off restoration on it. Now I enjoy working on it with my kids. We like going to cars and coffee, doing all that kind of stuff. I'll show you guys the engine compartment now. Really have a good time with old cars. <laughs> This is my 1963 BJ7. Now we're going to do a quick walk around the engine compartment, the outside. and the interior.
What could this be powering? We got a 302 crate motor. I do really enjoy the orange plug wires and guides. Hmm. Well, you probably figured it out 302, it's a Ford. Uh, actually, this one is a Mercury. A Mercury Comet. Station wagon. Got the Kragers, which uh, everybody loved. This is the 404, which it started out as a V8 289, but we uh, put a Crate 302 in it. Um, bought this bad boy on eBay. I love that, huh? This is Mel from Los Angeles, April 2020. This is my 1965 Corvette Coupe. I've had it for 43 years. Please read about it on the accompanying bit on the Cars and Coffee Worldwide. I've driven this all over. I still drive it weekly. It's a great car, American icon. I enjoy it immensely. And what can I say? Be well, be safe. This is my 1965 MG Midget Mark II. She's been in our family since 1975 when my dad bought her on a trailer and in parts. Uh, he gave her to me when I was 18 years old. In 2008, I started a full bare metal restoration that I finished in October of 2018. I did all of the work myself, including body, mechanical, interior, electrical, you name it. She's my pride and joy, and I love driving her every day. This is a 1965 Shelby Cobra replica by Factory 5. 17 inch wheels, 5.4 harness, full gauges, 
heated seats. Three forty seven stroker. Twenty two hundred pounds of fun. Twenty two hundred pounds of fun. What's up Peterson, my name is Brian Janish. Some of you might know me around the car community as that guy from Top Rank Importers. Behind me is my 1993 Mark IV Supra. I've wanted this car for as long as I can remember. I'm so happy to finally have it. It's mostly stock, has the factory aero from Japan, sitting on aftermarket suspension and SSR SP1 wheels. Thank you Peterson for hosting this digital drive-in. If you'd like to see more of the car, follow me on Instagram at Brian This is a 1966 Shelby GT350. Serial number SFM, Success 289. It was delivered to its original owner, Competition Press, in Auto Week Magazine, November 5th, 1965. My parents bought this car in August 1967 for $2,600. It has its original drivetrain, its original Krager wheels, Coney shocks, the seats, seat belts, the radios that were installed prior to delivery, and many other items. It is signed by Carol, Bob Bondurant, Peter Brock, and Chuck Cantwell. For more information on this car, see our website at 66gt350.com. Hello, my name is Rob Borrett and this is my 1978 Lotus Elite. Beautiful 70s wedge, it's been resprayed in the last few years. It's got the original wheels still on it, a double fuel filler cap and the, uh, the rear end has got a, a lovely shooting brake style. Uh, the interior was designed by Gijaro and uh, the leather has been re-upholstered. The marker site, brown marker site is original but the uh, lovely rear bucket seats look fantastic. Starts up really well. Two litre 16 valve Lotus 907 engine runs really smoothly. Engine bay has been uh, signed by the designer of the car, Oliver Winterbottom and thanks very much for watching. Firebird convertible, partially restoring. Start it up.
Philly, and I'm speaking to you from Kent, Washington. And here is my 73 914. I like to call this car a 2016 914 because that's when I finished the 15-year uh, restoration. The interior is uh, slightly modified from stock. I just put a different steering wheel on it, a few little changes to make it more fun. It's got a, a 3 liter out of a 79 SC in it. Uh, the only thing that's left of that engine is the, uh, the case. Everything else is really This is my 1974 Dodge Challenger Beast. Did it! Hey, I'm Oscar and this is my 240S13 coupe and it has a full Spirit Red Odivia kit with some SSR SP1's wheels, 18's, I had the 326 power wind, some Sparkle seats, some Takara hardness, I've been working with my friends for like three years already, next thing should be the engine, shout out to the Pearson Museum and I hope you guys like it. This is my 1989 Alfa Romeo Spyder 
quadrifolio. Also comes with the red hardtop that I have stored away at the moment. It is designed by the Italian Garotzeria Pininfarina. Got the red interior. Standard on all quadrifolios. California. This is uh, Dave Crabtree. This is my 1974 BMW 2002, which I've owned for 38 years this year. Be a quick walk around. It's my daily driver for years, and then I did the restoration work on it in the early 90s. Basic stock engine with a weapon. Today I'm out for a nice drive in my 2002 C5 Corvette Z06. My dad owned this 69 427 in 1974 and this 72 for 22 years while I was growing up. I had this Corvette poster as a kid. My dad's Ontario Orange Corvette was a huge inspiration.
and we're off to visit Stelvio's granddaughter, oh, <laughs> Stelvio's grandmother, Alfa Romeo, 1965, Spider Veloci, street legal, race engine, double overhead cams, chain driven, twin Webers, drive it to work Monday to Friday, take it on the track, it'll beat any car in its class back in those days. Designed and made for distribution in Europe with the side markers. Only about 200 of them. All the rest came directly to the United States. With one mistake, as this one was delivered to the United States. Let's go turn it on. Listen to some sweet sounds. watch attack just gently go up to 7500 rpm actually that was 8000 rpm okay the old girl's ready to hit the canyons I'll go get my mask Carl trees are blooming hope I got a picture of that drop the hood And off we get ready to go. 1999 Acura MS6. Power, this is powered by a 3.2 liter V6. Uh, the and my favorite feature about the car, the pop-up headlights.
couple tests on the 2004 Honda S2000 with a Gretti Spectrum Elite Canon cold air intake stock catalytic converter. Three pedals, six feet. This is my 2011 Porsche Carrera GTS with factory aero kit, center lock wheels, and manual transmission. The car had boring gray gauges when I got it. I ordered these white ones and replaced the Porsche PCM with an aftermarket unit, the Dynavan N7, and there's that good old stick shift. What do you say we hear it start up? <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Tyler Clemenson out of Agora Hills, California. And this is Heather Buchanan from Westlake Village, California. And these are submissions to the Peterson Online Cars and Coffee. So these are both family cars of ours. We'll start with this one first. This is a 1956 Chevy 210 that belongs to my dad. Um, it's a two-door post um, and it was uh, built by American Muscle Cars in San Bernardino, California. It's got an LS3 uh, Corvette motor on an Art Morrison chassis. The significance of this car to my family is that uh, my dad's first car was a Tri-5 Chevy and he really wanted to build um, his own Tri-5 to his, his specifications. So, voila. Cool, and this is my family's 1965 Thunderbird. Uh, it was purchased by my great-grandfather in 1965, and it's been handed down throughout the generations. Uh, currently, my, my father and I, we enjoy working on it and uh, doing uh, some wrenching and some detailing. It's all original. Uh, it's, it's an amazing yellow color. You can really see it in the sun, uh, kind of the depth to the yellow, and you don't see a lot of uh, cars with this shade of yellow anymore so uh, ha having it be all original is pretty rare for these cars because it's original paint original uh, interior and everything
Explorer Porsche 996 GT3. 37,000 miles. Um, I bought this car because it's the closest I've come to a car I used to own, which was a Renault R5 Turbo 2. Uh, I like the single purposeness. I like the fact that it's meant to do a couple of things really well. One of them is not luxury. <laughs> but it uh, handles really well, it's really quick. It goes where you want it to go. You just find that apex and hit it. It's, it's a much fun car to drive. Um, I've had it for a while and don't see myself selling it. I'm Dan Schultz, the, the Los Angeles rep for the Southern California Miata Club. This is my 2007 NC. You probably know that in Japan, the Nissan GTR is known as Godzilla. Well, my car is also a small and ferocious sports car from Japan, and she's green. So I think of her as Baby Godzilla. She's a 2007 NC Miata. Uh, I bought her almost new back in 2007, and this is my second Miata. She's just a lovely car, very fast on a canyon. She's been gently modified for canyon carving, and I hope you enjoyed meeting her. My name is Mike. This is my 2012 Ford Mustang Boss 302, model number 0720. I live next door to Bob. My name is Bob. This is my 1970 Boss 302. I'm the fourth owner. It's been in my family for about 40 years. And I live next door to Mike.
This is a 2013 Porsche Boxster, a base, uh, basically all stock, not really many options, just the wheels and the leather. Uh, Six-speed manual. to my DB11 AMR from Aston Martin. The AMR version has special brakes, carbon fiber bits, V12 motor. This one is China gray and has a great look to it. Hope you enjoy seeing it. And this is my 2012 Dodge Challenger SRT8. So I have some inserts here. And the car is a little deeper, 30 millimeter. And a little wider here. the engine bay
Growing up, I built model cars and painted them all sorts of fun ways. Once I became a car owning adult, I gave that up until I learned of Plasti Dip. It sprays on like paint, and when I get bored, peels off like a wrap. It has allowed me to revisit my old hobby in my garage. Right now, my Mazda RX-8 is a fan tribute to Star Wars droid BB-8. It is a fun daily driver that makes people smile wherever I go. May the force be with you. Let's see what else do we have here. We have the uh... This is my 2000 BMW M Roadster finished in esteril blue. It's got the navy blue soft top, the wide body fenders. The Napa blue and black leather interior. Jim Foster from Eugene, Oregon, and this is my car, the Beast 68 Ford Mustang Coupe that I've owned since September 1976. It has over 600,000 miles on it. It is my first car, and it has been used in numerous music videos 
as well as a movie for TV and several weddings. The most notable music video is the one by Katy Perry, the one that got away. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you have a very nice day. Porsche 911 GT3 this is the 991 generation which they made GT3s of in 2014, 15, and 16. It has a 475 horsepower flat six with 325 foot pounds of torque, rear wheel steering. Also has dynamic engine mounts and is basically a race car for the road. I'm Mark Green with Cars Yeah, and I'm here at the Peterson's Global Cars and Coffee. What a great idea. And I want to share with you my orange crush.
me get behind the camera and I'll take you on a little tour. This car is really unique because this car is a 1987 Porsche Turbo. I got it about 11 years ago on eBay. But what makes this car very unique is there are only three cars painted this color. It was special ordered, part of the Porsche paint to sample program, in a six stage metallic orange. And only three cars were painted this color. There's a sister car to this car in the Chicago area. And there's a slant nose out there somewhere hiding in the world. I've seen pictures of it. This car was ordered with virtually every option you could get back then. It has heated power sports seats, limited slip differential, rear wiper, air conditioning, sunroof, all the options you could get on a turbo. And of course, I like to have a little fun. I drive this car, it's got 41,000 miles on it. Let me show you the inside real quick since we are at a Cars and Coffee. Heated and power sports seats, which are a pretty cool rare option. In front of the car. I think what the Peterson is doing here is very, very cool. I have a Cars Yeah! podcast and I've had uh, Terry Cargus and Michael Bodell as guests on my show. Really appreciate that. I want to thank you for letting me share my orange crush, which I affectionately call my car, with all of you there at the Peterson. I hope all of you are staying safe, and we'll all get through this. This will all be over before we know it. Thanks for letting me share my orange crush with you today. Mark Green with Cars Yeah.